What's up YouTube? It's David here with Jones Company Customs and tonight I'm going to talk a little bit about my JTEC Photonics 7 watt laser and how I mounted it to my Millwright Mega V. Um, so here we have the laser. This is the JTEC Photonics 7 watt laser and um, as you can see here I have it mounted directly to my router mount. Um, it really wasn't that hard. Uh, after I kind of thought about it for a minute and just kind of decided on a good plan of attack on how I wanted to mount this thing, um, it re it was really pretty easy. It wasn't super complicated at all. Um, so yeah, I'll tell you guys exactly how I did it. Um, this laser, it, it's really convenient. It just mag on the magnets to, to this bracket right here. And all this came with uh, the laser kit. There's four little magnets in here. And... Um, it just snapped these two uh, these two little screws back here they locate right into these little holes so it's in the same place every time and it just snaps right in and it's there it's it it um, it doesn't really want to move around those magnets do a, a great job of holding it in there and um, the, the wires uh, are up here they connect um, and then I have all the longer wires running through the, the drag chain but right here there is a quick connects right there so if I ever want to take the laser off then you know it's super simple uh, everything's quick connect right there um, so as you can see here there's just two screws that hold those bracket th this magnetic bracket onto this aluminum bracket and this aluminum bracket I've mounted to the router mount here and uh, I did I, I use this bracket uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, these screws that came with this this laser mount were too long. There wasn't enough clearance that those. If I would have drilled and put them in right there, uh, I would have got into my router right there. It wouldn't. There just wasn't clearance. And also, I didn't think that that would have been enough. Those screws are kind of small. Um, I, I just don't. I, I wanted something a little sturdier. So what I did was, is I, I decided to kill two birds with one stone, and if you remember from my uh, one of my other videos I shot within the last week or two, I was milling aluminum with this machine, and the mill, aluminum that I was milling was in fact this bracket right here. Um, I decided that I was going to go ahead and, and try my hand at aluminum milling with the Mega V, and I was going to make a bracket to mount my laser with, um, and it worked very well. It, it kept very nice tolerances and it did exactly what I wanted it to so the reason I wanted to another reason I wanted to use this bracket right here was to get this laser down a little closer I didn't want to have to take my my router out to be able to use this laser because when you focus this laser when you use it there only needs to be about an eighth inch of space of clearance from the bottom of this laser right here to the material or the workpiece that you're you're using the laser on so it's very it needs to be down very close to the workpiece and I didn't want to have to take my router out I didn't want to have to take that router out every time I wanted to use the laser so uh, right now the the bottom of the laser is a couple inches maybe not a couple inches but maybe like an inch inch and a half lower than the collet of my router and uh, so it's working perfectly all I have to do is take the bit out which is not a big deal um, so to mount this aluminum bracket, this, this aluminum bracket is exactly two inches, two inches tall by three inches across. I just kept it real simple, you know, I, I figured, a, I found a measurement that would work in there that, that would span most of this router mount right there because I wanted to get over here into this corners where there was a lot of meat for, for me to drill into and use these self tapper screws. So basically what I did was I just milled out this alum this two by three aluminum plate I drilled um, a couple holes here just big enough for the uh, self tappers to, to pass through right there uh, and then I I pre-drilled the holes into this this aluminum router mount I, I did not use the self tapper screws if any of you have ever used self tapper screws before um, they're they're good for going through sheet metal or thin gauge material but they are not good to, for like boring long holes through something like this you know this is thick heavy duty aluminum and the, these self tappers would not bore their way through that very well so I used this 7 ths bit which is about half probably half of the diameter 
of these self tappers. Um, it you definitely want don't want to bore it out all the way to the full size of these. Um, so I just did this about an inch deep or so, three quarters of an inch to an inch into this this uh, router mount here, just to help these self tappers get in there, and. Um, it worked really well. Uh, they, they, you know, they still had to cut their way in some, which is good. Uh, you know, for them to have to, to work a little bit to get in there, they're cutting their own threads, and you know, I wanted it to be um, a good, tight, solid hole in there, a good, solid mount. And I mean, that's it's pretty solid. It's not coming off of there. And so basically, once I got that that done, you know, I just drilled those two holes right there. Um, you know, took a measurement, drilled, made some marks, drilled the holes right there and then stuck those self tappers in and it worked like a charm and then after that all I had to do was uh, drill a hole for these little screws here to mount this magnetic bracket and they, they came with a, a couple little nuts that uh, screw on to the, the, the bolts on the back of this little plate here and it worked perfectly I had just enough just enough clearance to get those nuts all the way on uh, this is quarter inch this is quarter inch plate by the way um, so I wouldn't go any bigger than that uh, just due to the fact that if you want to use these screws that come with the laser mounting kit you're gonna run out of thread if you go any bigger than quarter inch plate on your on this aluminum plate right here and you know if you don't want to use aluminum if you don't have aluminum plate available to you um, then you know I don't see why you couldn't use a piece of of you know plywood is probably not going to be as strong but um, I don't see why you couldn't use that if you have steel you could use steel but I think this just turned out fantastic I am so happy with how this looks you've got aluminum on aluminum on black and to me it just it looks like it was made to be that way I mean it looks like straight out of the factory so I'm really really super happy with how this turned out and you know if um, some some people have talked about doing a lift kit on the the Mega V. So um, if we if we were to raise these uh, these end plates up and lift this whole machine up uh, to allow the the you know take advantage of the full travel of of the Z axis there, then uh, we would obviously I would obviously have to uh, probably replace this plate with something a little longer. I'd probably have to do like a, a 3 by 5 or a 3 by 4 even. You know, I think a 3 by 4 would probably work, but I would definitely have to drop this plate down and make it a little longer to keep so so that I can make sure that my Z axis can travel down enough to be able to get this to the work material down here. But uh yep, that's it guys. I'm going to keep it short tonight and end it here. I think I, I pretty much covered everything. Uh, if you have any questions or if I need to better explain something, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section and I will respond to you. Um, if you have any requests on anything else that you would like to see regarding uh, the setup of this machine, then please request that and mention that in a comment as well. Um, I, I can't show you guys the laser in action tonight. I, I literally got done in just enough time to do a quick test run last weekend about a week ago and I just have not had time to play with any of the settings the test run really didn't go all that great I literally just threw a picture in there and hit go and it was it was very dark so I definitely need to change some settings I'm using uh, laser GRBL is the software laser software I'm using it's a free software um, I definitely plan on getting light burn at some point but I'd like to use this software a little more um, but hopefully I can I can show you guys this thing in action here soon and show you uh, maybe share some settings with you that way some of you guys out there have a little easier process uh, than I did than I am having, figuring out the laser and whatnot but uh, I hope this video helped I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you'll hit that like button and I hope that you will please subscribe to my channel and help it grow so I can continue to bring you guys great content so uh, thanks for tuning in I hope to catch you guys next time